What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are now pushing on, and we've just done some dueling. We've just done our first lessons. We've got a couple of spells. And I think it's time to go and see Professor Weasley. Because she wants to see us. And hopefully we can go to, go to Hogsmeade and go and get our wand. Fingers crossed. So... Thank you for so much for enjoying the series. Um, I'm getting some good feedback in it that you are enjoying it, you are liking it, and you can't wait to get it yourself. So, let's continue here, and I am heading to see Professor Weasley. Because, like I said, I want to go to Hogsmeade. Oh, what is this? Wait, 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 wait. Revelio. Aha! Field guide. Arguri Skeleton. This uh, is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix of Ar Arguri, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was uh, once believed to foretell death. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I love how all these musics and stuff are integrated into the halls themselves, into the rooms themselves. This being a painting, this being just a floating instrument. It's a good dynamic way without audio and music just randomly appearing out of nowhere. Kind of like what most games do, right? Oh, there's another big picture here. Who is this? Painting of Ilias. The painting depicts the young orphan wizardess Ilias who famously saved his entire village from an army of dementors and the dark wizard Raxidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. I wonder if we're going to get a Patronus in this. I'm ho Hopefully we do. I don't know if it's the one that you can obviously choose on the Wizarding World website uh, and stuff, but... Transfiguration Courtyard uh, discovered. Nice. Oh, hello. Hi, friend. I'm looking forward to the different seasons, like they're just different, ra like rain... I'm looking forward to autumn, summer. I don't know what season we're in now. I'm going to guess... Oh, we're in September. So, in England, that's technically summer. Early end of summer, kind of. Uh, quest, okay. Professor Weasley. What about Hello. the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh Excuse, Deke. <laughs> Excuse, ah, Deke. There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? She keeps asking. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, she's trying to get some answers about the goblins. To build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Okay. Professor Ronan mentioned that. What? More work? Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily Ooh. to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Ooh. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Hell yeah. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Nice. Uh, what more can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Hmm. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Mm. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. 
Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I would have liked to have gone, you know. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. To like Diagon Alley and all that kind of stuff. I'd and like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Okay. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh, Natty. I, I spent more time with Natty. I kind of... I'd like to go with Natty. She's decent. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates. Rookwood. Including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. A Once name to remember. Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Hell yeah. I'm hopefully we can get a butterbeer and stuff. Three Broomsticks. Quest complete. Weasley after class. Report to Professor Ronan. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are a type of quest given to you by Hogwarts professors that... When completed, we reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Repero, which we've already seen uh, Professor Fig do when we were crossing the bridge when we first started the game, uh, which is re required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Oh, he's already here. He's literally right here. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. Nice. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay. What is the purpose of the task? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay, let's complete that. Start on the task right away, Professor. Okie dokie. So we've got a couple of assignments to do here. So let's have a quick look at the map. So we've got technically two. We have uh, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. And then we've also got collect the flying page near the broken statue. Wait, these two, these two different things. Hold. Oh, they are okay. So let's assign this one first. Oh, it's literally right here. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page. I've is. literally just seen it. There it is. Uh, okay, through here. And then... The flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Bada bing, bada bosh. Easy as that. First assignment done. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvellous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your Ooh. wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, we got different buttons to press this time. I 
I know I know we can learn the uh, Avada Kedavra. Uh, one of the un unforgivable spells. Um, I remember watching a dev think about it. And they state that obviously it's in there. It's in the game for mechanic purposes for uh, kills and stuff. The mending charm, Repero, can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken Revelio. stuff in the alcove by the water. It's a legend. Oh, please. The fountain is a transfiguration courtyard, has lightliness of the wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the, cur the contrary, possibly started by Sir C uh, Cadogan, this is the most assuredly not meant to be wyvern of the wire slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Realized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, so what, what do you want winter to repair? Whatever this is. Meet Natalie the Ancient Horrors. Wait. Did I just start to try to repair some wait? What did you want me to repair this? Repair. He said something in the courtyard, right? I'm in the courtyard. Am I missing something? Oh, we got a side quest as well. Who's this? Gobs of Gonstone. Zenobi Noki is fretting over her missing gobstones. Talk to Zenobi. Okay. And wand handles. Ooh. I didn't know you can get different wand handles. Good to know. Oh, um. Let's let's go and do that before we head to Hogsmeade. It's not far away, it's literally around the corner. Let's see what she uh would it like me to do? Literally, in this room. I don't see where he wanted me to do the repair oh, boy, I'm hope, hoping they kind of fix the the lighting soon when you walk into buildings. Obviously, it might come with a day right? one patch. Don't you know who I am? Zenobi and Oak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Uh... Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the A worst. A school for you, unfortunately. That no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Never heard of it. Balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Ugh. Gobstones. I'm interested though. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. I think we need to go and find anyway, them. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. Akio. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. All right, flattery. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. That's true. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? <laughs> not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Hey. I'll see what I can do. Natty's nice. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay. Quest of gobstones. Is this taking me... Oh my god, there's so many. Whoa. There's so many of them. Wait a minute. 
I've just disabled it, haven't I? Wait. Hold. Right. This already or ultimately assigns it. So I need I to keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I don't even know what they look like. Apparently, they look like marbles. And there's one out here, or one in this vicinity, I should say. Oh wait, is this what I can repair? Wait. Repairer, nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> nice. I didn't get any experience for it though. Gotta look for. What did I do with this? I did. Let me also. That. Nice. Okay, gobstones. Gobstones, gobstones, gobstones. It just. I don't know how high. She means it has to be in range, right? It has to be in range for me to use my Accio or Levioso for reach. Aha! Right there. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, I know what they look like now. see what all the fuss is about. They look, kind of look like... Um, what was he called get the you know the forgetful is it forgetful in harry potter and the philosopher's stone and he gets the uh, the the rememberal sorry it looks like a rememberal so there's another one on this floor wait oh still further up okay God, this place is massive. And further up. On high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I know. I am looking for them. Accio. Looking for them. Excuse me. How uh, nice to see you, my young friend. I'm busy. Nice. Isn't this... I can't remember if this is where they had the fight in the Deathly Hallows Part 2 at the end. Do I have to leave? No, I'm going upstairs. How many more have we got? Two more? Three, maybe? I like the um, the tracking on the. Oh, excuse me. Is it raining? It's raining. First time I've seen it rain. Oh, it's dark again. Wait a minute. Is this? Oh, I thought this was the 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 staircase that goes towards the. The psychic woman. I've got. I keep forgetting her name. She, was, she only ever really appeared in. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's. The Order of the stones. Phoenix. I think it was. Accio. Levioso. Nice. Oh wow. Oh. <gasps> Yo. Oh, that's cool. Yo. Am I going all the way here, or...? This is cool. I get too carried away, you know? That's the thing about game... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, oh! Hee <laughs> hee! Right. 1523. So we've got the dragon. So that's going to be 1, 2. That's going to be 17. Which means we need 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be lizard. 
on one. So here's number one. And this will be Lizard. And then Hydra, which is nine. So I've got ten left. And then three, so we need a seven, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of the octopus thing again. So this is the octopus, that. And then we should be golden. Bada bing, bada bosh. Oh, I've got a big sorcerer's hat. I can't wait to get my uh, vererium thing. Wait, where's my gear? We have a new hat. No traits applied. Whimsical sorcery hat. Oh, I need to be level six. Okay, offense, no upgrades applied, and I can put upgrades on it. It increases my defense by 10. No traits applied, sell value 150. Okay, so we can save that for a rainy day. I love games that allow you to wear what outfit you want via the appearance, but your stats don't change. You know, so you can look as stupid as you want with the like the, the like the legendary items and stuff, but like you can change the appearance to whatever you feel like you want to play as. I kind of like that. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, look at this guy, Dad. Can I? Rebellion. Troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That it uh, has survived all, all its astonishing since uh, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Sounds like a troll. Off on another adventure, are we? They just punch each other. Wait, the other the the other gallstone thing, ballstone things here. Is it inside here? Um, nope. Oh, it's right there. Nice. Are we done with this now? Wait, I can use this, can I? Oh no, I've got to go onto the map and then do it. Oh no, there's one more. Wait. There's one more. Is this in another room? It is. Oh, this is the Goblet of Fire. This whole thing comes down and reveals the Goblet of Fire, right? Goblet of Fire casket, yeah. The Goblet of Fire uh, rests within the ancient jewel-encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of settling the champions for the twi tri 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 wizard tournament since the contest established in the late 13th century. Oh, what else is in here? We've got brooms. Oh, we've got the Quidditch stuff. We don't see the snitch, though. Snitch is not on there. What else we got? Rebellion. Anything else I can reveal? Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skill in the fields of herbology. Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff, Mirabel Garlic. Get garlic? From mandrakes to mistletoe and boo boo tubers to bouncing ball <laughs> to bouncing bulbs. Her work with flora has exceeded all expectations. This is magic Oh, oh there it is. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Anything else to reveal? Oh yeah, chest. Loosened black and white pinstripe scarf. 
Okay, let's head back to uh, Zen Zenobia. Okay, here we go. I hope you've had more luck than I did. Indeed. Down my Hello, Zenobia. I found them all. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic <laughs> magic. <laughs> True. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Uh, of course. Of course. I'm, they I are don't need them. After all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Um, I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? It's oh, a we'll fine so idea. Together, laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Nice. Now it is time to head to Hogsmeade. So there's one, one thing to do. And we won't get to level six. Which means I can put on my new hat. <laughs> I can put on my new hat. Where is it? Okay, headwear. So I can increase my defense. <laughs> and then I'm going to um, put my scarf on now. Right. We got the black and white scarf. I can put this on. Or a beige scarf. Or we do have this one. Let's kind of go with this. I kind of like it how it's... Oh, you know what? Let's go with that one. It's the same with the robe. I feel like it's, it's, it's a bit weird, right? I, I do like, obviously, the... Uh, like, Warner Brothers did send me a key. So... I should have disclosed that in the first episode, to be honest. I've got these, like, chainmail gloves. I'll go with the yellow gloves. Go with, yeah, let's go with the leather. And let's go with... I might just go with the standard. Maybe with the standard. I'll go with my... My dress. Yeah, let's go with the standard. Why not? I don't feel like I'm... I look like a teacher. Actually, this hat makes me look like a teacher. <laughs> it bounces on top as well. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. I'm ready for Hogsmeade. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't take it seriously. I can't. I, I, it's just constantly distracting me or it's just bouncing on top of his head. Just, <laughs> I can't. I need to change the skin of it or something. Um, let's, let's put it to this one. Okay. Go, oh, I got my little flat cap. Actually, no, I'm going to take it off. I'm, never, I'm, I'm very undecisive. I don't know if you've know this. You might have, you might have figured this out already. Let's, let's take it off. I am very undecisive. <laughs> okay, right. How do I... I'm just running into a corner here. How do I get outside here? This way. I'm guessing we're not going through the main doors of the school. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait. Oh, wait, she's on about the one I did it, right? What are you guys having? Are they just nibbling on some sweets here? I that. that kid was just like, I'm going to, uh. Oh. Oh? Hello? Oh god, spider webs. Diamond classic school uniform. I kinda like this robe better. It's it's a bit more wavy. The other one was a bit That was it nice. Was it? Naughty. 
Revelio. I need to use Revelio a little bit more. What have we got here? Hello. Wooden cats. This wooden statue bears the likeliness of Pangoy Don. Fearless feline mouse hunter and devoted sturdy companion. Revelio. Still have a bump on my head from her body. Oh, so that's locked on the outside. What are you up to now? I'm going I came to with my head going places. There's not one here. Three Sister Bells. The Three Sister Bells are said to be a tribute to three similar named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. It is rumoured that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands. When they are rung in the castle, locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Hey, we're ranking up pretty quick looking at all of this. Um, wait, 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 wait. Hi, Natty. Hello, I'm coming. Give me a minute. Gold trimmed robe. Oh. Please hold. And this is giving me some offense. Oh, I like that. That's better. And we're getting a stat buff as well. I've always said that travel okay, let's go. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. Yes. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. I'm hoping Shall it's full of life up? and a lot of people. I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. And we're finally leaving Hogwarts. Oh. To the Quidditch Stadium to the left. We're finally outside. I was glad Wait, is that Hagrid's hut? Hagrid? Really? Hagrid won't be here, yes, but... I Wait, Natty! Wait! I thought you oh. enjoy it better be in the village. Whoops. <laughs> The timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. All right, let's go. Are these Quidditch robes they're wearing? Or are they just kind of like outdoor common house uh, robes, kind of? Oh, I'm finally leaving. I cannot wait just to for the game to open up. I cannot tell you how right? nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Like, we're still being shown the ropes, but like I said, I can't wait for this game to open up so we can do what we want, just follow the quest, do the side tracks, uh, side, uh, awesome side missions, all that kind of stuff. Everyone but will tell you just look at this. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the cold. Natty! I was trying to. I was going to get a thumbnail so then. Much, but it has taken There's too much shadow to over here, your spoon. I did not grow up around snow. Hopefully, I can get a decent one later. Technically, if we're going to Hogsmeade, I think Hogsmeade is going to be the thumbnail, right? Travel into Hogsmeade. Finally, get into Hogsmeade. I wonder what the title of this video will be. <laughs> oh, wait. Over oh. here. Oh, what's up? I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. Oh. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I was like, what the hell is making that sound? It took me back to high on life when them little, small little creatures were coming out of the house going, you know? Look, 
from the forbidden forest. Oh. Hippogriffs. Oh. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hippogriffs. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance hoop and sugar. Please hold. I definitely need to take this for a thumbnail. I'm just going to stand here and hopefully I use that someday. Who knows when? And then you guys know who are watching this video. I watched that bit That's when he grabbed that screenshot. <laughs> it's off limits to Wait, actually, no, I didn't, I didn't grab it. I didn't press S F12. It Hold. Hold. There we go. Got my screenshot. Over the crest. Pass that ruin. Wait, I wonder if we can go up there and everything. I've heard the map's huge. And people are saying they knew it was going to be huge, but it's a lot bigger than what they thought it was going to be. You know? Oh, let's look at this. Oh, I'm taking a picture here. Okay, so I just went to take another thumbnail, and I've just found out you can actually remove all your UI. So if you are wanting to take screenshots or anything in game, all you need to do is a bit of a pain in the butt. You just got to go into your options, go into your settings, and then go to the user interface down here, and literally just turn all these off. Then you can just turn them back on. I'm just wondering what might be best here. Show HUD tracking icons. Show quest notifications. Show spells. All this kind of stuff. Minimap. And you just turn all these back on and then Bob's your uncle. You're back to normal. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised I when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. Since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while Ooh. I certainly learn a great deal in class, much Rebellion. outside of the castle walls. Leaping toadstool caps. I just want to explore without the, you know, the, the stabilizers on. I'd like to shop in the I just want to just do How my thing. And we just need I to get through the tutorial the and, like I said, just stabilize it before we move ahead. Can I grab these Everything plants as well? So new and unfamiliar. Sorry, Natty, I'm, I'm totally ignoring you. I'm kind of... Oh. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Accio. But it is beautiful here too. Oh, so you can aim. Out of the castle and I didn't know that. Helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Sorry, Natty. I'm just too busy taking pictures. It's a habit. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts Mr. Moon? Keeper. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth huh? year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, Be sir? drunk. Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. What the? Oh, so this is the... Sp Whoa. Arrest on momentum. Oh, we can see all the spells. The Pulso. Descendo. Flipendo. Bombarder. Expelliarmus. Defindo. Confringo. <laughs> it's the endo. Disillusionment. Oh, I can go invisible and sneak. 
we have sneaky stuff to do. Wingardium Leviosa. Also, we do have a Wingardium Leviosa. And we have Leviosa as well. And then we have Conjuring Spell, Transfigur uh, Transfiguration. Altering Spell. We can change the size of an altar. Ah. Oh. Bend Scroll. I don't know what that does. Imperio. Crucio. Ooh, the torture spell. And Avada Kedavra. Oh. Poor oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie guys. Poor oh, Mr. Moon. Too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never <laughs> heard of such a thing. Oh my god, look at this signpost coming up. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. Look at this. I'm happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are, but... No trolls search, allowed. It might be nice to have a friend. Quality butterbeer. I'll keep that in mind. Natty. Forbidden Thank Forest, you. Hogwarts. Dangerous. By the Ministry of Magic, this area has been declared dangerous. Lake. Portion supplies, merchant goods, Rockboroughs, Aronshire, Hogsmeade Station. Oh, there's so much to explore. Oh, we're here. We are entering Hogsmeade. Hello. Oh god, there's quite a few people here. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. Oh, it changed. Revelio. I can't tell you. Cinder Winds Precarious Cauldrons. The precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sedowin's advertises uh, advertises the shop's words. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a portion of any intended effect. Find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Oh, this is so nice. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. So I'm able just to explore soon. now. Hogsmeade Village is a brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest. Okay, so we're finally here, and we can just start exploring. My objectives just come up. Visit Tom's and Skull. Visit Ollivander's. Visit J. Pippin's portions. Visit the Magic Neep. And I think the first place we've got to go is obviously Ollivander's. Get my wand. Ollivander? I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, Is that his one behind his here? Moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Now, the question is, is are we going to get the wrong ones and make some destruction happen right now? <laughs> yes. It's Ollivander, of course it's going to happen. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Ooh, that kind of looks ahead, nice. Swish. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once 
more. Come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Oh. I think we've just found Fred Weasley's well, this isn't a good wand. Match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like a carrot. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be and that's trickier what happens to my butt when I have too many carrots. Um, <laughs> it explodes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You? I'm sorry. You? <laughs> ah, there you are. Is this it? Third time the charm, Ollivander? Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Oh. We get to customize our wand. Spiral ash brown wood type. Pop poplar. Phoenix feather, solid, 13 and quarter inches. Oh. Spiral hash brown. Curious Warm indeed. brown. Gray. Light brown. Ash brown. Oh, look at this. How intriguing. I feel like one of these two. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. I kind of like this one, you know? I feel like I kind of like this one. How intriguing. I think this one's a little bit too eh. What's the one at the end? It looks a bit... Eh... It's not so bad. It's, it's a lot better than some of the. That one just looks evil. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's go with a dark brown, though. But we get handles and everything, right? So, I guess... Oh, I'm so indecisive now. That's like a stick. You know, they're, they're all sticks. Right, but that one that one resembles the stick the most. Let's get like a vine, you know. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. I have a feeling that we're gonna get a handle here and we're not gonna see this bottom bit anyway. How because we saw that on the side quest, right? So I'm just wondering if the handle will get put on this and it will just be the top bit. And then if that's the case, some of these might look a bit funny. Curious indeed. Dude, you can stop saying that. You can stop saying that, Olivander. I think I might just go with this one. I think I'm going to go with the plane, and I'm going to go black. How intriguing. And I want to know if we can get a white handle or something. I think that might look cool. And then we've got the wood type. Oh, okay, so we can... Oh, Curious indeed. oh let's start right from the beginning. So we have... That... Alder, How apple, ash, aspen, beech, blackthorn, black wal walnut, cedar, cherry, chestnut, cypress, dogwood, ebony, elder, uh, elm, English oak, fir, hawthorn, hazel, holly, hornbeam, larch, laurel, maple, pear, How pine, dude, red oak, redwood, rowan, silver lime, spruce, sycamore, vine, walnut, I'm going with Curious indeed. Elder, of course. 13 and a quarter inches. Does size really matter? <laughs> Nine and a half inches. 14 and a half. You know what I'm going to do? Uh... Let's 
go with 13 I'm inches. Intriguing. And then we've got flexibility. Solid, brittle, whippy, reasonable, supple, squishy, surprisingly squishy. Quite flexible, very flexible, bendy, quite bendy. Unyielding, unbending, slightly yielding. Let's go with unbending. Curious indeed. And then we have the cores. Do we have dragon heart string? Dragon heart string that serves as the core of the one, known for producing powerful magic. The hair of the unicorn that serves as the core of the one, known for producing consistent magic. Or do we have the phoenix feather, capable of producing a great range of magic? I'm thinking we go with dragon heart string. A dragon heart I want string powerful is magic. Most powerful and learns quickly. Yes. I am what ready. What do you think? With my wand. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. So we've got our wand, finally. Nice. Now the question is, is can I put something oh, on the wand? So we can see we are at Alavanders. We can see uh, Sprint Witch's sporting needs. We've just got the three broomsticks. So these are points of interest. We have J. Pippin's portions, the magic neep, Hogshead. Uh, oh, we've got Barbers, uh, Groudog's Wizard Wear, Blood and Peck. Oh, okay. Let's head outside. But I do want to check. If I can change the base of my wand. Because we did just grab something, right? And it's in here. We can. See, I'm actually glad I didn't go with the other stuff now. I'm glad. And I want to go with this one. Right now. I'm so glad because, yeah, because... I as If we didn't see that handle, I would have chose something that might look a little bit stupid later, you know? And just having the straight one is is going to do something. Can we, we don't have anything we can put on this, right? Any charms or... Uh, yeah. We do have that equipped, though. Wait, do I have that equipped? No, I've just not equipped it. Okay. Okay, I've got my robe, I've got the flying mounts and stuff as well. I've got 88 gold. Nice to know. Okay. So the next place we need to go is over to portions. Zonkos. Can we go in here? Oh. <laughs> this is a toy shop. Is there anything else we can do in here?
What did that just do? Don't put. I pushed it. <laughs> Bewildering kind of mystery. My guy's just dazzled. Revelio. Sorry, I've got it. <laughs> it has to be done. When something says don't do it, you're going to do it. Look this little, little guy. Like a little Pokemon, isn't he? Uh, I'm leaving now. I'm going. I'm going. Time to check on the portions. Oh, uh, hopefully I didn't rob that off somebody. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Hello there. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Nice. What can I do for you today? So we can see supplies and portion recipes. So a portion is a recipe for a portion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Okay. And then we've got a wig and weld portion recipe. Recipe for healing portion. Which we're able to get because it's free. One thousand two hundred coins. Recipe for portion that reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. Thunder brew recipe. Recipe for a powerful damage portion. Recipe for a portion that makes the drinker practically invincible. And then a recipe for a portion that increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. And they've got some ingredients here as well. So in case we want to get something for... Instead of buying something, we can make it. Which I, which I, I guess it does... Oh no, because we need to get the recipes. So we need to buy the recipes and then build the recipes from exploring, grabbing the shrooms, grabbing some stuff from enemies, claws, maybe spiders, all that kind of stuff, and then make your potions, which I think is pretty cool. Combat tools reduces a drinker's spell cooldowns, and there's also some pre-made ones down here, which are pretty expensive, you know, which I can buy some health potions here, but I feel like we should make our own first. Nice. So let's find out where they are. So they would be wait, a field paid things. Are we got oh we have unlocked some stuff. Flame. Eight out of fifteen. Collect two field guide pages in Hogsmeade. Oh. Okay, so let's have a look for another thing and we get some more glasses. Um also we've got something in here. A a scarf. Legendary stuff, complete main quests. Wait, there's a cape? Legendary gate, gear Oh, it's one out of four. Claim rewards. 
And then complete six side relationship quests. Okay. Got a couple of collections here. So these are portions. Ah, here we go. So to make the Wigan Well portion, which is just a health, it takes 15 seconds to brew. And we need Dittany leaves and Hork Lump Juice. And then to make the Edges portion, which is gives us rocky skin, better defense, Ashwinder's eggs, and M Mongrel fur, which we've not seen any of these yet. So I'm hoping we do get some form of... Um, Maybe side quest, maybe? So we have just got this, which does require for me to be level 7 and does increase my defense by 10. Which, obviously, we're definitely going to equip. And then we'll choose the skin we want in case we don't like it, right? So now, we're also going to visit the Magic Neeps. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is very close to here on the map. Magic Neeps. Is this it? The Magic Neep. Yes. So if we just do a right here and then come along here over the bridge. And it should be right there with the green. Oh. Wait. Nice. So we just got that challenge complete. Beautiful. Oh, the sheep. Damn it. Okay. I thought you could kill it and get its fur or something. Or its toenails for a portion. I don't know. I thought there was watermelons, but nope. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. Dittany <laughs> seeds. It, that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the <laughs> cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I can I? not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Unless the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty oh, of so we can grow our own seeds and grow. Oh. Unlock the ability to grow a flux weed in large pots. Oh. I forgot we have the place where we can go and plant stuff and build stuff and put our creatures and everything. <gasps> yes. Rebellion. The Magic Neep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He runs, he, he enjoys being the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Yes, we've just kind of done that. So, Tomes and Scrolls is where we need to go to next. And that would be... Where is the Torms and Scrolls? Bunny Dukes, Steeply and Son, Hogsmeade Square, Three Broomsticks, Zonko's Joke Shop, Hogshead. Oh, it's right there. We'll literally walk past it as we entered. Can I wait? Where's the where's the bar? Where is the bar? Is this it right here? Donko's joke shop? No, we've already been in there. Three broomsticks. The three is in. There we go. I want to go get some butter beer. Can we get some butter beer? God, this game is gorgeous. Visuals do it for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like they. I love good mechanics, and if you find the balance between mechanics, gameplay, and story, I will play it any day, and I'll play it over and over again. Oh, I don't want to go here yet. I want to go... Here, three broomsticks. Like, 
lights on. Nice. Can I buy a Can I buy a bottle beer? Revelio. Who's this guy? Oh no. I thought I'd be able to talk to him, but no, it's just to grab a nut. Currently run by Sirona Ryan, and allegedly as old as Hogmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long standing gathering spot for vill villagers to, uh, and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butter beer or fine whiskey. Uh, fire whiskey. Not fine whiskey. I'm happy with uh, a good old fire whiskey. Can I get a butter beer? Uh, maybe I come back here at some point when the game kind of unlocks for me a little bit and take the goddamn reins off me. I just want to explore Hogwarts. Maybe I should have a look around for a couple of pages. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Find myself scary. <laughs> Like that. And I'm level seven. Beautiful. Which that means one thing. I can now equip my new Um is it outfit? Uh it is. I'm down with that. I'm okay with that. And we've just got more defense as well. Level 7? I don't know the maximum level. I would presume maybe 30 or 50. That's normally what it is with... But I, I well, we are leveling pretty fast, so I would think maybe 50 or 40. Inquiring Possibly. Mind. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Okay. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? So we want potting table with a small pot uh, spellcraft. And then a small portion station. If you're interested, Beast feeder. feel free to take a look around at the rest oh, of my Oh my inventory. god. We're going to have a lot of stuff to do to get this amount of gold. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Well, collections updated, small portion stations. I'm guessing I'm going to get shown how to do these. So let's go and see Natty. Uh, and she's at the town circle. I love this. The music is so... It's perfect. I like how it kind of just... Wherever you are, it's, a, it's ambient music. And it just fits so well. That bridge reminds me of the one that's in Oxford. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> <laughs> we should walk around a bit Look at the more. candy floss just dancing in the background. I finally pick one. Oh. What the? Draw it away 
from the building! Away from the village! Oh my god! more of it. What did I just do? Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. <laughs> it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Repero. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. So that's why we needed the Repero thing. Repero. I will see what he wants. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Ice is cool. That ice is cool. Repair. Her. Lucky they didn't do more damage. And and just just like that, like nothing happened. We were just talking about you. Yes. Hello, Augustus Hill. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. Some outfits. Like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. Ooh. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. I, I would now, happily take let's it. Let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So we got a traditional school. Oh. Uh. Level one, and we're going to lose five offense. Eh. You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip. I don't want to equip it. 
I don't, I don't want a bloody... <sighs> there it is. I knew one's better. I, sh I guess I shouldn't be rude. Right. <laughs> what an extraordinary introduction to Holtzmeet. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. <gasps> Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Yes. That sounds like a good idea. I tried to get Wonderful. one earlier, but I couldn't. Just down this way, then. Okay, let me put my... My thingy back on. Is there a way I can access my inventory? I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome Rebellion. to use my shop at your leisure. No, so I've got to go it from here. Um, okay, so... Uh, let me put this back to normal. Thank you very much. It was very kind of you, sir, but unfortunately, I am going to store it and possibly sell it for a rainy day. Oh. Gladrag's Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins flavoured by students for dwelling practices, the mannequins at Gladrag serve uh, only as a means to display the latest wizarding fashion. Noise. Okay. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Who? Uh oh. Who is that? Oh. You it's... said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Uh-oh. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Rock Ron. is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside. The so does that mean we could have chose our partner who we was going to come with? So I could have chose this guy, uh, this uh, Natty, or... It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. Hello. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. <gasps> oh, yeah. Thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. 
Have you noticed how Can't the guy in the green is looking like a like a British gangster? You know. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Hmm. Trolls, Ranrock, Rockwood. and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Yes. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I think I agree with you. Let's go. They might be waiting for us, to be honest. Oh, it's night time. Talk to Natty outside the three brunch sticks. Okay. All right, Natty. What's the plan? I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. She's going to ask again why they wanted to, you know. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Okay. Access the map. Select the Hogwarts map button to switch to Hogwarts map. And then fast travel to your common room. And then we can just go Gryffindor, common room, and travel. Nice. We are back here. We are done. And I think that is a good time to finish this episode right here. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Obviously it was longer than the other ones. And we will continue with this mission and go and see Professor we uh, Weasley um, in the next video. So check out my other content right here. Keep smiling. And I'll see you in another video.